Well, it was a nice day yesterday, and uh, we'll, we'll continue with uh, temperatures uh, falling and moving out. Excuse me. Uh, temperatures continuing to fall and be below average for this time of year. Uh, we topped out at 56 today. We started the morning at 46. We should be at 75 degrees by the afternoon and starting our mornings at 50. So by all accounts, it was a below average day. No rain today. Still a deficit for the month at nearly two inches and just over three and a quarter inches below normal. I've got rain in the forecast. It's not going to be a drought, a drought buster, uh, but it will certainly help put a dent in the drought conditions. Of course, we had a cold front that moved through overnight last night and first thing this morning, and that has allowed temperatures to respond with lots of cooler air. 48 right now in Comanche. It's 47 in Baird. 52 in Ballinger. We're at 47 in Snyder right now, but notice the cold front that hasn't extended south of Interstate 10. Temperatures there have been allowed to warm into the mid and upper 60s. This is going to be the complication with the forecast as we move forward to the next uh, day or so is whether or not this cold front uh, kind of retreats or basically becomes a warm front and allows for temperatures to warm on the backside of it. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to stay pretty chilly. Regardless, though, compared to the 80s we saw yesterday, we're anywhere between 25 and 30 degrees cooler right now uh, than just 24 hours ago. And with that will also come a chance for rain. The reason why you kind of see those clouds streaming from the southwest to the northeast, that's moisture content. And what that does is it rides over the cooler air mass at the surface and gives us that low level cloud deck. That's why it's been so cloudy. And then in turn, the clouds block out the sunshine so we don't want warm up during the day. That's going to continue as we head through the overnight hours tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. I have us in the upper 30s across and just north of Interstate 20. Lower 40s in the key city will be in the middle 40s as you get down to the south. And then right around 50 degrees, all of us will be below average for this time of year if you're north of Interstate 10. All right, so the forecast tomorrow, I do have showers overnight tonight, mainly isolated to start, becoming more widespread by daybreak. We'll only top out at 55, and that will be even chillier for areas north of the Concho Valley. But we do have between 40, 50, and 60% coverage of scattered showers and storms tomorrow. And as I mentioned, the big story will be temperatures because for the next five days, we will stay below average for this time of year. 55 tomorrow, 59 on Wednesday, 55 Thursday, 65 degrees on Friday, and 63 on Saturday. That's anywhere between... 10 and 15 degrees below average for this time of year. I want to talk about the rain now. As I mentioned, we'll cloud up overnight tonight. I do have between 20 and 30% of us seeing scattered showers tomorrow. I don't have severe weather in my forecast. This continues Tuesday night and through Tuesday afternoon. Then our next cold front, this one's going to arrive and help clear the clouds out. Here's about midnight on Thursday. And then it looks like by the time we get through Thursday, uh, Wednesday morning, that cold front pushes through. And then by Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night and into Thursday, the clouds begin to clear. And it's that clearing that is going to give us what could be our first freeze of this season. That likely will be Friday morning. Rainfall amounts anywhere between a half inch to an inch for the areas there shaded in blue. Less than that, between a hundredth of an inch of rain and a quarter of an inch for the areas shaded in green. So this is our best coverage for rain we've had in a while. Your trick-or-treat forecast has us falling into the 40s. Again, you're going to want to bundle up. Skies will continue to clear. What we go through is a process called radiational cooling. The heat that we see during the day, even if it's just very little of it, it begins to escape into the atmosphere and we cool off rather quickly. So much so that by Friday morning, we'll have lows all in the upper 20s to lower 30s. This could be our first freeze of the season. Tonight, though, a mostly cloudy sky. Isolated showers will drop down about 44. It will be cooler in the big country. Tomorrow, a mostly cloudy day. Showers continue to increase. We'll call for 40 to 60% coverage, and we'll only top out about 55. We stay below average Wednesday and Thursday before clearing out. We're only at 50 degrees Thursday afternoon. 64 on Friday, and then by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday in the big country, that's when temperatures warm a little bit, still below average. Don't forget Saturday night, early Sunday, that we do fall back, so we do get that extra hour of sleep into early next week. So the Concho Valley, much of the same after a couple of days of showers and storms, 55 on Thursday after temperatures in the upper 20s. I do need to make mention, though, there will be a lot of areas that will fall into the upper 20s to lower 30s Thursday morning, but I think the widespread freeze potential that's going to be on Friday. That's for everyone. 63 on Saturday, 68 degrees on Sunday. We're at 73 on Monday. Our average first freeze, that's November 12th. So if this happens and the forecast plays out, it'll be about uh, two weeks ahead of schedule.